Howdy gamers, so today we're playing Pac-Man. I don't need to explain too much what Pac-Man is. Everybody's played it. It's one of the most iconic games in the history of games. It's one of the first games and playability wise, it's held up for 30 years and become a huge part of our pop culture. We see it in movies, we see it in TV shows. It has its own TV shows, it has its own movies. <laughs> the simple premise of a little yellow guy trying to escape this maze and being chased by ghosts. <laughs> Just had infinite franchise potential for them. And, you know, the scenario is pretty straightforward. Like I said, little yellow guy trying to escape these ghosts. And your goal is to clear every single dot to get to the next level while avoiding all these ghosts. And also to get the highest score as possible. Oh, no, I died. I got the bottom half of the map cleared, though, so that's good. As a 21st century gamer, the thing that reminds me the most of these games are dungeon games, because it's also a maze that you need to clear and that you get there are certain rewards for clearing it, things you find that make it easier for you. Here, it's just the big blinking white dots, but in those games, it's like um, cooler weapons and cooler potions. And that's what keeps you engaged by getting cooler weapons, getting cooler, cooler monsters, get the bragging rights for your friends. Here, what keeps you engaged is just the high score. Just the numbers going up, how you can increase your high score. And that sounds simple, but the high score, it's all about challenging yourself. You know, your personal high score, the high score on the machine, seeing how pushing yourself to do better and at your core, at its core, that's what video games are about. They're about pushing yourself to be better. That's the playability right too. Like you just put, that's what keeps you going back. That's what makes kids keep asking their parents to put 25 cents in the machine. They want to keep getting better. They want to challenge themselves. They want to see how far they can go. That's why this game can have infinite, infinite levels too. All right, so I'm almost done with this first level. As the levels go on, it gets harder because I believe the monsters get faster and Pac-Man gets faster. And as Pac-Man gets faster, it gets harder to get him into the little... Oh, no, it was too slow there. The It gets harder to get him in all the corners. Um, I just got a game over because <laughs> I'm not too great at this game. I really thought I was going to get to level two, but alas. It's okay, I keep trying again because... Like I said, games are all about trying to improve yourself and coming back and challenging yourself. And even though I'm not good, I still wanna I still wanna come back and I still wanna be better. And I want to be at least the high score that this modulator this uh, emulator has set for me. Graphics wise, this game is pretty straightforward too. It it's a pixel game. Uh, most games now are 3D, but not always. And the 2D games we see now have way more pixels, like Stardew Valley. Also made only by one person or a few people. I think I mentioned that before. See, this time I'm already doing way better because I've, I have only lost one life and I have most of the board cleared. Yummy. Getting these fruits too is an important part of getting the high score. But you know, it's hard to remember to come back to that point there in the middle because it's very close to the box where all the aliens are released from i mean the ghosts are released from oh i died again i think i'm gonna end my let's play here but <laughs> wish me luck because i keep trying to improve and keep trying to go through the levels all right goodbye gamers